What's going on guys? So today's video, I actually got my father here. So my dad was actually in the, you were smelling some Creed fragrances last summertime and it's actually October. So we're actually getting his take on a different house, very high class house of Hermes. Now, why are you dressed in this getup? Well, let me explain son. About a year ago, a year and a half ago, you know, your father retired. Fu and su successful financial planner. And I moved from a big city out to a little town of 5,000 people. Sudbury's not in, that big of a city. <laughs> in Halliburton. Uh, to, in a northern city, it was big. <laughs> okay. Compared to 5,000 people, it was big. All right. So then dad came here, and what else are you going to do? So I joined a communal farm. And once a week, dad goes out and takes care of the animals and the horses and does some chores. And it's a volunteer farm. So this is the new wardrobe. So yeah. let's see if you can find something that makes my horses, chickens, and goats like. Yeah, you should see his Facebook picture, man. So, anyways, let's get this started. So, we're, we're just going to get my dad to ta uh, do the same thing that we did with Creed and just get his take as to which one is the best Hermes. Now, we do have from their designer line, but also from their Hermescence line. So, their uh, Hermescence line is from their upper luxury line. So, the first one is going to be Un Jardin sur le Nil. So, these are all samples and decants that I got because I cannot afford an actual bottle. All right, so that's... So and I'm the, retired, I can't afford this stuff. <laughs> All right, so that's Sur le Nil, and we're gonna... That one's not bad. And we're gonna pair it off against Brin de Réglisse. It's almost like citrus nair. Uh, no, it's not bad. There's definitely some notes like that. Okay, so Brin de Réglisse or Sur le Nil? No. This one, no. Okay. This sort of reminds me of almost like a soap or something. The, the main note is black licorice. Okay. So... Okay. Yeah, I like licorice. <laughs> mm, I didn't. All right, so. So le nil against Epice Marin or Marin. So, so Hermes is a French company. It's been around for a very long time. So Epice Marin, Marin, Jardin sur le nil. That's not bad. Which one do you prefer though? Still this one. Okay. Yeah. Next one is going to be Rose Ikebana. So I'm actually going to be doing a video of this one with my good friend Freddy Rivera. So Rose Ikebana versus... So which one do you prefer though? Hmm, that's not bad either. Now they're both unique in their own sense. But nope, which, still this one. So you, okay. It's close. Now this one actually has a rhubarb note to it. Hey, we're getting country now. Oh, absolutely. Mm. So, but uh, Un Jardin sur le Nil. So you married a French Canadian woman. There's what it is. Do you understand what it means, Un Jardin sur le Nil? No. Well, it's kind of country with the name, but it's a garden on the Nile. Okay, how about a lake in the woods? Halliburton. Halliburton. So, uh, I don't know how to pronounce this one. You get, you get porcelain. Ooh. So this one or the, Ooh. the first one? That's not bad, dude. This one is definitely different. But which one do you prefer? No, still this one. Okay, it's that would scare the chickens. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Jardin sur le Nil is actually doing very well. Poivre, Samar, whatever. Captions down below. Sounds like pears, poivre. So which one? So poivre is a spice. Actually, this one's pretty nice. Let's take this one. Yeah. So this is actually pepper. Un Jardin sur le Nil was doing very well. Just lost out. Let's go with Ambre Nerguilet. So Neil and I have been wearing this one quite a bit because we're hoping to do a video in Central Park next week. So which one do you prefer? Can we wear something in Central Park and also in the barn? <laughs> I'm sure you can wear anything, Dad. Poivre? Actually, that's not bad at all. Well, which one do you prefer though? Hmm. Let me have a look at that one again. The oh, other one. Okay. Now they're both very different. Actually, I prefer this one though. This one here? Yeah. Okay, so this one is actually a unisex scent. Well, they're actually all unisex scents, but this one is definitely a lot more masculine. So Poivre gets booted out, and we're going to pair it off against Cuir d'Ange. So leather. Oh, this ought to work. Leather something. This ought to work. For a guy who was married to a French Canadian for 35 years, doesn't speak it very well. But neither do I anymore. Wow, yeah, you can definitely smell that. So, cuir or uh, ambre nargile? No, this one would get me into trouble in the barn. 
<laughs> okay. Yeah. Ombre d'aguile <laughs> goes on. So let's go with the samples now. So this one is O de Neroli Dore. So some people are going to say, it's like, oh, just say it in the English way because your French sucks. Granted, I lost a lot of it. So the Neroli? No. No? So you prefer mm. Ombre d'aguile? Seems strong, but no. Okay, no. All right. So Neroli uh, gets booted out. So Ombre d'aguile goes on. I'm waiting for English leather. Yeah, Hermes <laughs> doesn't have that. Not gonna happen. All right. Well, okay. <laughs> so uh, Voyage d'Hermes. Stetson. I can get you that done. No, I think uh, we're gonna pass. Okay. I, I remember that in my youth. Yeah. Well, you're a Bleu de Chanel kind of guy right now. Okay, so right. it's kind of falling apart that paper towel. So Ombre Nataguile or mm. um, Voyage Dermes. New one on top. That one wins? Yeah. All right then. That one wins. You took it away. Oh no, this is it. Okay. Nope, you're right. Yep, you're right. Okay, <laughs> Somebody's paying attention. I'm paying attention. <laughs> Terre Dermes. So we do have one more after this, after this very one. Uh, these paper towels are starting to come apart here. Okay, so Terre de Mez against the uh, Voyage de Mez. You need both of them? Yeah, let me smell them again. So we got... Uh, no, this one for sure. This one here? Yeah. Okay. And the final one is going to be Un Jardin sur le Toit. So, we have to remove the top bit of the cap. So, all right. This is a long wait. This one's <laughs> got to be good. <laughs> Un Jardin sur le Toit or the Voyage d'Armes. Which one is the winner, Dan? So, that's... Voyage, wow, and both, that's... These are both pretty good now. And that's Jardin sur le Toit. I think we're going to go with this one still. So, so Voyage d'Armes? Yeah. So, Voyage d'Armes for the win. Now, why did you like this one? It doesn't seem that sweet. It doesn't seem that flowery. No. I know my horse critters are like that. So. Okay, but will Linda like this one? I hope so. <laughs> You know what? We'll give it a shot, and you'll uh, you can actually have this fragrance. Yeah, because the last time you gave me one, mm -hmm. it was a winner. Linda liked it, so which was uh, a Tom Ford. Yes, it was a Tom, Tom Ford, Ford uh, tobacco vanille. Right, but it was strong. Yep, very strong. Yep. So we don't That's, need it too much. That would be good for the barn. That's right. Yeah, and I just insulted <laughs> a lot of people who actually love that fragrance. So, <laughs> all right, guys. So the winner is Voyage d'Armes from Dad. Thank you very much. It was fun, son. So thank you very much, guys. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Share the video. If you want to see my dad again, please let us know. The first video that we did with Cree went very well. Hopefully that you guys like this video as well. Thank you for your time. Take care, and we'll see you later.